Hey everyone, welcome back to another New World video. I hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about moats. And there is something about the update, which if you guys didn't know, there was an update in downtime over the morning hours. And the update is now available, which means that there's going to be something that's changing with the moats in general going forward. So if you guys didn't know about this change, let's go ahead and talk about it. Obviously, you knew that, or hopefully knew, that there's some creatures out there that you weren't able to either chop or mine, depending on what they were, the bears or the wolves. And that ha has actually been fixed. Now you can actually go ahead and mine or obtain those creatures. However, the, quint the quintessence that they had dropped previously are no longer going to be able to be received anymore. And the amount of either logs or uh, lodestone that you're actually getting from those specific uh, creatures will no longer be as high as it used to be as well. Um, it just never worked out as intended for, for what they said. They wanted the creatures to be a lot more rare as far as them dropping the quintessence. So in order for them to fix it, and be able to allow us to mine or chop up the creatures they needed to actually pull the quintessence out of it completely so that's going forward and obviously they fixed the issue where you're actually getting any quintessence at all uh because it was dropping a huge amount of quintessence for a little bit of time so if you guys were lucky enough to keep some of those or have some of those in your inventory i would hold on to them let the markets go absolutely crazy and you could hopefully make quite a bit of money or you could even use them for whatever you might need to use them for at a later date but i would hold on to them if you guys have actually already got them so let's go ahead and take a look at the trading post and what you guys can actually get from some of these moats now keep in mind that you guys can actually go ahead and either you know just have the moat themselves which uh, i'm going to go over individually um i do play on the eden server so prices might be a little bit different depending on what server you're on but i definitely don't play on a dead server so these should be hopefully comparable to other servers that are out there but 0.7 is roughly about what the air motes are. And then obviously you can make wisp uh, essence and then quintessence out of these, depending on what you're actually doing with these. And if you're a jewel crafter and like to cut gems like I do, then obviously having the quintessence are definitely going to be um, hugely important. So converting them and using your arcana or arcane in order to do that is uh, essential. So we have death, uh, usually about yeah 0.5 for those. Uh, we're going to have soul, usually about 0.7 to 0.8. Yep, there we go for those. Uh, we got fire most, usually about 0.3-ish. Then we've got earth, usually about 0.5. Then we've got air, usually about 0.7. And then the bottom one, we got water, that's usually about 0.3. So they don't really change a whole lot from there. Every once in a while, you'll, you'll see people that will just dump a whole bunch off at a ridiculously low price. If you see that, by all means, buy them because then you can just either use them or turn around and sell them for a markup price. Completely up to you guys. But let's go ahead and show you guys on the map uh, a few different locations that I have for you guys. I'm going to try to keep spots in Everfall in Windsward just because it is a low level area. I know that there are some other better spots. If you guys have a much better specific locations on moats, by all means, leave a comment down below and kind of share the information with everybody. Otherwise, I'm going to show a little bit higher level area a little bit later in the video that has a majority of the moats and you just have to go into a big circle. It will take a little bit of time. It takes about 10 minutes to run the entire circle. But by the time you get back, as long as there's nobody else in that area, then you'll be able to just go ahead and start all over again. Um, now, air moats, I'm going to go ahead and start with those. You can actually find a lot of these actually up in this area, just a little bit kind of north or west of where Everfall is, all up in this region here. You also find some other ones that are kind of scattered from time to time up in this area. But there's a lot of air moats in there. Now, as far as water moats, if you guys just head a little bit west out of the city and follow this river all the way down, it's kind of hard to see right here because the river is actually right underneath both the lines there. And then keep following it and then go over towards Tempest. You can actually find water moats all along that river and you'll get quite a few of them just for making one run. So there's always that. And then if you guys want to get soul moats, you can go to this farm right here. There's a, quite a bit right there. And also all of Tempest is only soul moats. That's a good spot to go ahead and get those. Now, if you guys are looking for more air and possibly some death moats, Noble Reach is actually pretty good because that's pretty much what you're only going to find in the Noble Reach area. Now, if you want like death and also um, like earth moats, 
going over into like this area where our mine is at then this is a good spot all around here you're pretty much only going to find death and earth moats which is actually really nice um you can find more water moats right actually right next to here which is the lake just outside of windsward which is just fine you're going to find fire moats in like this location in windsward over here Kind of over here, over here, and then a few spots along here, along the river, where you'll find water moats. But mostly in this area, you're going to only find fire moats. Uh, pretty much this whole, like, I'm going to say an island right here of Windsward is almost only fire moats. There's not a ton of locations, but that's what you're going to find there. Now, if you're only wanting to find more death moats, then you can actually head over to Moonshade which is technically in Monarch Bluffs, but it's still a low-level area, and that's all you're going to find over there. Um, let's see, which one has I have? And I covered, I went over Life, Fire, Earth, and I, yeah, I actually went, went, went over all of them. So let's go ahead and show you guys the location up north, and it's actually going to be in Great Cleave, which is going to be ar around the Wayward Mounds here and Glass Lake. Um, for the most part, if you guys work or kind of go into... Um, the wayward mounds area you guys will only find the death moats in that specific location you can also find some soul moats too but this is what you guys will actually go ahead and find in this general location right here and then around the lake you guys will find water moats um, and then what you want to do is just kind of foul all the way around and then zigzag inside of all of this and you're just going to find a ton of them especially down here you're only going to find the death and soul moats and then if you come up a little bit higher you guys will find more like air moats kind of up in like this location right in here and then um then earth moats you'll find kind of like right in like in this general location just a little bit to the west of glass lake like i said you guys will find way more soul and death moats in the eight in that area but the soul modes are selling for at least on my server the the highest price available which is absolutely perfect for you guys to come up into this location but hopefully that does help you guys out and if it does make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming